Hey, how's it guys? In this tutorial, I'll show you how to force a formula to recalculate in Google Sheets. So unlike Excel, in Google Sheets, there's no recalculate or calculate function available. A recalculate function will force a formula in a spreadsheet itself to reevaluate the output. And this feature is extremely useful when you have a formula that is pulling data from a third party website and you want to force the formula to update the data. All right, so here have an example. So here have a, a formula that is pulling the crypto's data from CoinMarketCap's website. And if we look at this formula, so the formula is looking at the source URL, which is pointing to Bitcoin's um, summaries page. And if I simply refresh the page, the price is going to stay the same because in Google Sheets, the formula doesn't think that uh, anything has changed. And one method to force the formula to recalculate or to uh, reevaluate the information is by removing the source uh, cell reference. So here, let me make a copy of the URL. And I'm going to delete the formula and I'll put the URL back. Now the price is updated. And since in Google Sheets, there's no such thing as recalculate function, Fortunately, we can implement our own recalculate function using AppScript. And AppScript is equivalent to a macro, basically. All right, so here, uh, if we go to the menus, if I go to extensions, here we have two options, macros or AppScript. If we use the uh, record macros function, basically Google Sheets is going to generate the code for you. But unfortunately, the code is not very reliable because at the end, uh, it's the system that is creating the code for you. And let's go to AppScript. So we're going to write the code ourselves. And the code is very minimal. We only need to write a few lines of code. So when you first open the Apps Scripts page, and this is what the interface looks like. On the left hand side, we have three different categories, files, libraries, and services. And for now, we only need to focus on the files. And by default, the app scripts will uh, create a default uh, Google Sheet script for you. On the top, we can rename the project. And let's name this to uh, force recalc. Actually, let's do this uh, sheets utility. And the project is tied to the Google document which is this file right here. All right, so here, let's rename the function. And let's name the function recalculate formula. Now we're going to write some code. The first one we're going to write is going to reference to the active sheet. The active sheet is going to be based on the worksheet that you are working on. So if I have multiple worksheets, the active sheet is going to be the worksheet that your mouse cursor is currently select. Now let's go back to app script. All right, so here I'm going to create a variable called active sheet. And from the spreadsheet app reference, I can reference the active sheet by using the get active function. And make sure that you insert the semicolon at the end. Next, I want to grab the URL. So from the active sheet, assuming that my URL is always going to be in cell B, uh, B1. So here I'm going to insert the function, get range. Then I'm going to insert the cell reference, B1. And to get the value, I need to insert the gets value function. Now we're going to repaste the URL in cell B1. From the active sheet, we want to clear the content first. So we're going to type get range, and it's going to be B1.clear. I want to specify that I only want to clear the content. So here I'm going to insert a set of curly bracket. Inside the curly bracket, I'm going to specify the property contents only. 
and I'll set the value to 2. I'm going to reinsert the URL and it's going to be b1 the set value and the URL is currently stored in the URL variable so we can supply the URL variable to the set value function and that's it for the formula itself. Now I'm going to save the project And I'll go back to the spreadsheet. Now, if you go to macros, you want to click on import macro because I will need to import the function to the Google documents. And here's the recalculate formula function. And I want to add a function to my existing spreadsheet. All right, so once the uh, formula or the macro is added to my spreadsheet, I can close this window. Now, going back to extensions, macros, and now we can see the recalculate formula is now available. Now I'll click on the uh, macro. All right, so for the first time that you are running the macro, the project is going to ask you to uh, permission. So here I'm going to click on continue. Then I'm going to choose my account. And on this page, I want to click on events. Then I want to click on this link to proceed. Now we're going to grant permission to the project. Now I'll click on allow. Now going back to extensions, we need to run the macro again. All right, so let me do it again. I think that was too fast. And that's it. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.